Right, it's National Hill Climb Champs time. I didn't make a preview video because I was very lazy. However, it's time to make a post-race analysis. Uh, there's some caveats that none of the women's like, top three are powered air, so that's kind of fried. But the men's, there is some powered air, but some of it's a little cooked. But the big news is Andrew Feather did not win. He had a rough season, didn't win a lot of open hill climbs, and then got punted in nationals as well. I reckon that new bike's fried uh, and his power meter's cooked, but we'll go into that later. So this was Harry Maxfile who won uh, the men's first woman's later, 580 watts uh, for three minutes. Apparently miscalibrated, so the actual number is 610 watts, um, which is around nine watts per kilo. Obviously, power meters are all pretty inaccurate, I would say, but that does seem to be pretty standard number in the UK hill climb scene. 10 watts per kilo for two minutes, nine for three, and then it kind of goes like eight for five-ish. So, yeah, very, very impressive ride, um, you know, strong lad good in prems so not too surprising um but again you know it is what it is uh like pretty standard stuff uh in terms of the watts uh so basically you just need to multiply this by about four percent was what the conclusion was in terms of pacing strategy obviously it's still gonna be accurate like 570 at the bottom 560 at the top so the steep part actually was the middle part 11 percent, 600 watts 600 watts goes quick very very quick so you can look at some of the segments, which I think is almost more more interesting about just like the kind of what's needed, because although it's like 10%, you actually see the what's here crazy. So Feather did 608 watts, which would be more way more watts per kilo. But I don't understand why it's always the case with Feather, but it's power meter just like, I don't know if it overreads or just the way he rides isn't very efficient for the power meter strain gauges. But he did 600 watts and he should weigh less. Like I've got 9.3 watts per kilo if his weight is correct, which I think is had 65. Sometimes he says he's less. So I do think maybe his power meter is a little bit like just not right. Um, again, the standard feather pacing just goes not that right, very hard at the bottom for him and then just goes absolutely bananas at the top. Like 680 watts, hits 830. Uh, in a video he said he likes to do it because he just wants to put on a show for the, for the crowds. But yeah, a bit of a shock that he didn't win. Um, but as I said, he didn't didn't win that much. The other kind of YouTube big namer was Ed Laverack. Um, he said best ever power, but still it's just tough for the big man because it's not very long and like 490 watts just don't go very quick is the issue like you might go oh it's like 11 percent but if you actually look at the segment um you'll see here everyone's doing huge watts like gabe Della top 10 570 andy locals is very small so like 58 59 maybe less kilos so 465 goes pretty quick but you can see like 475 is is from Laverick. Obviously, the segment's a bit lower, this bit, little bit, this little bit of that. But the point is, you just do need a lot of watts. Like everyone's punning out decent watts. Um, if we look at the results here, you can see it is pretty close uh, ish between Feather and Har Harry Mack, but not crazy. Two seconds, and then after that, it's like the the kind of more normal people will say Andy Nichols three twenty, Ed Laverick three twenty four, um, Ben Miller. He actually won a lot of hill climbs uh, near Bristol three twenty four. Probably not his best performance compared to some of the other ones earlier on in the season, but, you know, it's always tough to beat. Um, but, yeah, like, I guess kind of to be expected. Um, Andrew Fedder, maybe Kieran won Catnet won a lot as well, so maybe not too surprising that Fedder didn't win because didn't win every Open this year, but still, like, pretty pretty crazy. Um, and, yeah, like, the Watts are just bananas. Um, but, yeah, it's either the new bike, the Palmy or something because he's not as good as last year, but the numbers seem better than ever. Um, in training, he's hit some really, really fast times near Bristol, so I'm, I'm a bit bamboozled about it. Um, the other person to shout out is junior Harry Hudson. A pretty outrageous time. Would have finished third overall. I think he did like eight and a half or something. Um, I think it was like 54 kilos. He did like 460 or something, so that's pretty wild. Um, but yeah, he is definitely someone to watch. I know I had trials like Otto Edda last year because um, he came third last year on, on um, the struggle, which is obviously a way longer climb, but also good on punchy stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely want to watch out on hill climbs because man's got big gas to go uphill. Um, in terms of the women's, it was pretty, pretty standard stuff with Illy Gardner winning a uh, pretty big gap, to be honest. Like 20 seconds is quite a lot over everyone else. Um, like top 10 is pretty, pretty big, like 50 seconds into the top 10. So yeah, like pretty, pretty impressive ride, um, but not too surprising. Illy Gardner's got big gas, as everyone knows, like full full crazy um i'll try and find a file it's always a disaster this potentially this file nope sorry this is amateur hour ah illy gardner no power day up so a bit sad but it is what it is um again like 
70 and a half K an hour, it's not bad. I mean, I could probably do what's peculiar estimates like night checker, but they're going to be accurate. Agni Plowman, again, no power day, which is kind of oil, but anyway, Maddie Heyman did power day at like 350 watts, four minutes, nine. I don't know what weight is, but probably at low 50, so it's decent watts per kilo for sure. Um, like, Illy's probably cracking out over seven, I would imagine, or close to seven maybe for that, maybe a little bit less, but yeah, it's like pretty, pretty impressive. Like, she would look where she would have come in, like the men's, uh, she would have been like 50th, so she would have punted a lot of men, to be fair. So it's actually very impressive ride um by her and yeah just good to see someone else win national champs um you know it's nice that it's not always the same person um feathers like obviously won loads in the past but he hasn't won every year but yeah anyway congrats to harry mcanilly big big rides uh and cheers for watching i'll see you in the next one